So in our conversations with uh, a prime, a certified prime dealer uh, and technician is that one of the things that we asked them is how, how to tune these things because we've had some different experiences. Um, and what we were told is don't be afraid to move the, move the rest off center shot. And that, that's kind of a hard thing for us to do. <laughs> and the reason, the reason that that is, is because for me, if I feel like that arrow is coming out true to the riser, true to the, uh, true to the string, it makes me feel like that is going to be more forgiving if there's any error on my part with the shot, if my grip has some torque, uh, so forth. So I feel like that if we can stay on center shot as close as possible, it can help be more forgiving and have a more forgiving setup. And so that's been kind of our challenge with primes is being willing to move off center shot, go ahead and start shooting. So he's moving the rest. Now, if you get to a part where you're thinking, I've, I've gone way too far down, you can actually, when we paper tune, we can move the knocking point too. So when we do vertical adjustment, keep in mind, it's not just the rest, you can actually move the knocking point too. And we may, may end up doing that, so we'll see. So after just a little bit of adjustment, we'll see if we can't get the vertical on point. Nice. So if you look at these last two shots, these are these last two shots, they're almost about the same. We're getting a little bit closer with the with the vertical. So I'm moving my knock point back down and it's almost right where we started with the knock point. All right, so I think it's about time. So this was his last shot right here. So if you notice, with these first shots, we haven't changed anything right to left. We just worked on up and down. And then the closer we get to being level, you see that tear gets less and less severe. So that's why we say work on vertical first and then work on horizontal. So Josh is gonna do a little bit more adjustment, probably about same about a word as I don't know how many.
actually looks pretty close. so you've seen the process that we kind of use I know it's we're, there's probably gonna be a lot of cuts because uh, that tuning process took a little while and you might see most of that in fast speed so that's okay <laughs> anyway there's a couple things that we want to wrap up with this number one is that prime they're different the prime prime bowls I don't care who says just tune it like a regular boat. They're not the same as your other boat uh, setups. Number one, and the, the thing that we're finding out is they don't have a yoke system. They don't, you can't shim the cams. So you have to be able to move that, that rest. Um, we didn't really touch on the flexus, um, mostly because that's, uh, the flexus is not gonna get you all the way there. It's more of a fine adjustment from what we, our experience is. Exactly. So um, without being able to, to tweak the yokes or the yokes that don't exist or shim the cams, you have to move off center shot. You can't be married to center shot. So in addition to that, there's limited information out there on how to do that on different forums that we looked at. At. We looked at um, forums like Archery Talk, uh, Rock Slide. There's several different archery forums that you can search different topics, and there's not a whole lot, if not a whole lot of, of uh, information on how to tune these. In addition to that, there's conflicting information and also conflicting information on YouTube that people talk about or you see. A prime bow set up on how to tune it how to time it so we went directly to prime and their specs now our experience with that is that specs are only specs and specs don't give you a bullet hole exactly and prime would probably tell you the same thing and there's, there's nothing against prime because all other all the other companies try to do the same thing but when it comes to these bows and the differences in the way that they are, the way that they function, um, it doesn't translate to every different bow. So 
If you have questions, comment. If we're gonna be, like I said, we're committed to the process of this. We're gonna use these bows as target bows when we go out and shoot a 3D shoot. We're gonna use, we're gonna do the walk back tuning with them. We're gonna go through all kinds of different, you know, ups and downs with these bows. If you wanna see more content on these specific bow builds, let us know. We'd be happy to put it on the web. We're not just gonna throw it out there just because. That's right. So absolutely we're committed to these this process and we'd more be more than happy to share what we're gonna do with them next. So let us know. Don't hesitate. Like, subscribe. You know the drill. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>